and welcome back to part two of how we're going to blow up the earth in Photoshop. We are just getting to the good part. Okay, last we left, we were doing our layer two copy of the inner glow. Now we're on the third copy now. So select your third copy, double click that, and open these settings here. You're going to select inner glow and outer glow. So we're going to do both inner, inner and outer. And this time you're going to select bright red colors on both. Yep, bright red colors if you're choosing. Yeah, that's bright enough for me. Okay, keep the settings almost the same. Just change your uh, size and whatnot. I'll zoom in for that in a second. And then on the outer glow, you're going to change that to 100% opacity. Make it normal. And then select a bright red color of your choosing once again. Alrighty then. We're getting somewhere. We're almost to the end. And then change your size again. Whatever you think is awesome. Eh, that's about good for me. There we go. Now. Where are we going? Ah! <laughs> okay. Now. That we got that going on. Select clouds. And above the clouds layer. Make a new layer. Which will then... We're going to name, yeah we are, we're going to turn it black first, so make it black, control backspace or alt backspace, and you're going to add some noise, we're going to add some noise baby, yeah, <laughs> okay, make sure it's uniform, and then make sure it's like about, yeah that number right there, pretty big noise, oh yeah, once you have your noise done, click OK on the screen. All right, there we go. Woohoo, noise. Now we're going to go up here and you're going to select blur, Gaussian blur. You're going to just do like a 0 0.4 Gaussian blur, not too much. Any ideas what we're doing with this layer? Any? Any ideas? No? All right, well, here we go. Select on levels. And now we're going to make the night sky. That's right. So take that little nozzle up there, the middle one, up on the levels thingy. And move it to the r to the right until you can get a night sky that you think is awesome. Yeah. Pretty, pretty cool. Yeah. So it should be black like that. And then you should be able to see, like, some night sky, little dots that make up stars for your night sky in the earth. Once you have that good and done, you're going to change that to lighten. Ah, what the heck? Oh, shoes. <laughs> oh, yeah, lighten. Okay, there we go. Lighten. There we go. So you should get that. It should look like that right now, again. You can't really see the night sky yet, but when you zoom in far enough, you can. Trust me. It's pretty sick. Pretty awesome. Okay. So now we're going to add a new layer, color balance adjustment layer. And with this one, it's basically a, a, your, your preference, uh, whatever colors you think look awesome. You're going to just use the midtones and put mostly blue. So for midtones, so, I mean shadows, or yeah, shadows and midtones make it blue mostly. And then for highlights, make it mostly red. So yeah, blue and red are basically all we're going to do. And just whatever looks cool to you doesn't really matter. It's whatever looks cool to you on your hot on your reds and blues. And that's what mine looks like right now. Kind of cool ish, I think. Yeah. We're doing something cool. And you can always go back and fix it if you need to. There's no harm in that. There we go. Pretty sick, pretty awesome right now. Alright, now we're just going to go up here and save it as a PDF file. 
just in the event that you accidentally X out of it or some weird thing and you need to open it again, and you don't want to go through all this work again, that's why we're doing it. So then just click save and when you have it saved, you'll be all good and you can reopen it and keep working from this point on. All right, now we're going to go up here to uh, image and you're going to click on image size. And you're going to change the size of your canvas now to a smaller file. So it's easier to work with. Yeah. That right there. There we go. Good enough. 960, 11.5. And it'll be a little smaller. Not by much, but it'll be a little smaller. There we go. Click on your background layer now. And you're going to go up here. And you're going to add lens flare. And select these numbers here. Yeah. And this will give it its boom and, and, and eye-opening awesomeness. Yep. 70% brightness. And, um, yeah. Look at that! Oh, that is so awesome right now. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's pretty awesome. And then we're going to also go to the top of... We're going to do it again. We're going to add another lens flare. Uh, so you want to go up to the top of your layers. Above color balance. Yeah. And then you're going to add a new layer, layer 2. Make that black, by the way, just so you can do that. And you're going to screen that. And then click on lens flare. And you can move it around, put it places, you can mask it out. I added a mask layer to this layer, by the way. And I just erased the parts that were covering the earth look kind of ridiculous. And that's what mine looks like right now. So that looks chill. And you can change the opacity a bit down to like 40% or 44%, whichever is your prep, whatever you want. And that's it. That is the tutorial. That is how you blow up the earth in Photoshop. How cool is that? Hope you enjoyed it. And please, as always, subscribe and watch more.